guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. Today we're going to do another like will I buy it, new makeup releases type video. I'm really not sure what I'm calling this. But uh, I posted one of these last week. I always enjoy watching these. This is inspired by Samantha March and her Will I Buy It series. Um, a lot of people do this type of video. I know Andrea Matiliano does one. There's a whole community playlist that Samantha created that you can add your video to, which I don't think I did that last week. I don't think I did. I should probably do that. If you want to watch a bunch of this type of video, there's a whole community playlist and you can add to that. So we're just going to be talking about some new makeup releases. A lot of the information is from the Trend Mood Instagram. That's linked in the description box. And then I also have um, from the Indie Makeup Spotlight, which is talking about some indie makeup. So if you guys want to talk about some new makeup, I've got my coffee. That's why I don't have lipstick on because I'm just drinking coffee. Let's get into it. I totally meant to talk about this last week and I completely forgot. There's a new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy. They did the Amrezy palette several years ago and then they had the Amrezy highlighter which I have and love and I missed out on the original Amrezy palette. So I was excited when I first when I saw this. This is the ABH and Amrezy palette. It includes 16 shades with matte shimmering foiled shadows and a new formula pressed glitter. There's two of those in this palette. The palette is $49. The packaging is beautiful and at first I was like yes I would be interested in this palette because I do like the ABH eyeshadow formula. Powdery or not, I, I kind of like a powdery eyeshadow. What in the world? So I like their formula, but then I started looking at it. Ugh, I don't know. It is really pretty. There are two main pops of color, the pink and the blue, and then some really pretty purpley shimmery shades. From the swatches, the glitters look like you can't tell that they're glitters. So that makes me think they're going to be very finely milled. They're not going to be chunky or gross. This isn't something that I'm going to purchase right away. But I do like the look of this palette. I kind of, The thing about Anastasia palettes, any brand, I just want them all to be the same size. I don't want 16 shades. I don't really care about that to me because there's a black in here and a really dark well the really dark plum is really pretty but the black you could take that out i don't ever wear black eyeshadow and i have a million of them so <laughs> i don't need that one in there and there's a bronzy shimmery shade that's in just about every palette i don't need that one take those two out this automatically becomes a little more appealing to me and just for the size of like lining how i store my palettes it bothers me that's that's not just an abh thing that's any brand that does that it just bothers me I won't be buying this right away. I kind of want to wait to see if this comes to TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I I don't really follow Amrezy, but I I like the collabs that she has done, the products that she's released. I think they're very beautiful, and I do have the Amrezy highlighter, and I love that thing. So, what are your thoughts? I'm going to be passing on this for now. There's a new Morphe palette. This is the 35i Icy Fantasy Artistry palette by Morphe. Includes matte, shimmer, and iridescent shades, plus silk, t silk slip toppers and a touch of glitter. It's $25. You know, Morphe is just not that exciting to me. I don't, I don't feel one way or the other about the brand. I feel pretty indifferent towards them. I haven't tried a lot of Morphe recently, but what I've tried was okay. It, it, you know, it's okay. This isn't something that I'm going to be purchasing. This doesn't interest me. I like the color scheme of this. I like that, they're, that it's not just 35 shades of brown, which is uh, what most of their palettes are. I like that there's some pastels in here, and I think the color story is really pretty, but I don't, I don't need that. Dominique Cosmetics has a new eyeshadow palette, and this was revealed and then also announced that it was going to be in the Trend Mood Volume 2 box. Did anyone get the Trend Mood Volume 2 box? <laughs> I signed up for the email just to see when it would go live. I think they said they were going to send an email like 10 minutes before it launched, so you'd get 10 minutes of early access. I checked my email, and I happened to be checking it as soon as the email came in, so I clicked it, and it was instantly sold out. So, didn't get the Trend Mood box. There are 10 shades in mattes, shimmery, metallic, and sparkly shades. Uh, this palette retails for $42. $2 of each palette sold will be donated to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which I love. 
St. Jude is one of those charities that I always support. I thankfully have never had to experience horror. Anyway, I really like St. Jude and that's a charity that I always support. That's just a nice thing that they're doing. This palette is really pretty. I love the look of the pastel shades on the end, this peach and the mint and this sort of like butterscotch yellow. I think that's really beautiful, but on the other end, it's more neutrals, which is fine. This one might be one that I put on my list to try if they do like a, like a crazy Christmas sale. I know that sounds kind of insane, but I would like to try this at some point. But again, not something that I need right away. I'm going to pass on this for now. There is a new collaboration from Physicians Formula. And I think it's Whaley. It is the Butter Collection and Whaley. Six different shades of blushes, bronzers, and highlighter for $14.99. This looks really pretty. I This looks really pretty. If I saw this in store, I might think about this. And $14.99 for six Physicians Formula products is fantastic price. Their, their kits of products are so much more reasonably priced than their individual products. Why is that? I know they're probably a little bit smaller than a regular. I don't care. Like I'm not going to use a whole. Anyway. This looks really pretty. I like the colors of the blush in here. Okay, here it says. Wildflower, Sunset Bronzer, Butter Bronzer, Apricot, and then Golden Hour, and whimsical Ooh, that looks really pretty i think i might get this one at some point not right now i'm not going to order it but if i saw it in store if it's coming to store i would probably buy this this looks really pretty and that's a great price for six base products we have more new products from fenty beauty this is the fly pencil longwear eyeliner there are 20 matte shimmer metallic and glitter shades for effortless no limit looks that last $22 each. The colors, I'm not gonna list all the colors, there's 20 colors, but they are, you know, black, gray, purple, brown, there's a whole bunch of, I love a colored eyeliner. However, I haven't been wearing eyeliner at all lately, which is weird because I, oh, I wear eyeliner every day up until like the last few months. I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm getting lazy. So this is a pretty easy pass right now, but I think that the colors are really pretty. Joseph Colors is releasing a few kits of lip products. They're limited edition stone and truffle lip sets. The set includes a lip liner, a liquid matte lipstick, a lip gloss, and a velvet mousse lipstick, which is a new formula, so you can get them in stone or truffle. Those are two of their, I think those are their two most popular colors for sure. Those are available now on the Joseph Colors website. They're $39 each which isn't bad for four full-size lipsticks. It says it's a $67 value. I don't think that's a terrible price for four full-size lip products. I don't know if I've ever tried either of those colors though. My washer is going, sorry. <laughs> I probably won't because I'm really trying not to buy lip products because I just, I'm the worst at wearing them. I'm not even wearing them for a freaking YouTube video, so. Mm -hmm. But those are really pretty. There's a new collection from ColourPop featuring two sort of small like mini collections. There's Blush Crush and Nude Mood. Ooh, there's a new Super Shock Tie-Dye Highlighter Compact. Ooh. The Blush Crush palette is a nine pan palette. There's a Euro, the Eura Catch Super Shock Highlighter. Just a tint lip crayon bundle. There's a nude mood, a uh, nude tone, <laughs> nude eyeshadow palette, and then the real thing in the Super Shock highlighter compact. And then a Can't Bear It lip bundle with two just a tint lip lipsticks in it. This is a little too neutral for my preferences. I do think that it's beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, I actually think my mom would really like this because every time I wear ColourPop, she's like, what eyeshadow are you wearing? I'm like, it's ColourPop. Um, and she's like, oh. Um, and she likes a lot of neutrals. I think that this, uh, and I think that the Blush Crush palette would probably be perfect for her. This isn't calling my name. There's a lot of nude color in that situation, and that's just not speaking to me. The, the Super Shock Highlighter Compact is interesting. It looks massive. 
it's beautiful though but it looks absolutely ginormous we have new palettes from the bh cosmetics travel series i really like the bh cosmetics travel series i think that part of the fun of it is that these are inspired by destinations and that's something that i would like to do is travel and see more places so a lot of the destinations are like places that i want to go so that also makes it a little more exciting for me but i have tried i think all four of the previous um, eyeshadow palettes that they've released in the travel series and I really like them. I like the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow formula. I've never had issues with it. I think it's a really consistent formula and it's such an affordable price range and brand. I'm always quite pleased with the palettes that I purchase from the brand. So the three new palettes are Trendy in Tokyo which is a bright palette. Embrace the avant-garde style of Japan's capital city with 16 colorful shadows bright hues inspired by the chic neon lit metropolis illuminating in ireland oh my gosh i want to go to ireland so badly capture the radiant charm of the emerald isle with this six color highlight palette from warm coral to golden honey and pale champagne with green shimmer oh you can wear them alone or mix them to create your own buildable formula letting you achieve a gleaming sea breeze kissed glow that's Beautiful. And then Smitten in Switzerland. Revel in the majestic allure of the Swiss Alps with this 16 color shadow palette from lush shimmering greens and azure blues to velvety soft mattes in violet and neutral shades to achieve the ultimate après ski look. I probably said that wrong. That one, the Switzerland palette looks beautiful, but I, I mean, I also love brights, so I'm, I'm kind of into all of these. Oh, look at the swatches, that looks great. I'm kind of into all of these. I will wait for a sale, but I'll probably be buying those at some point. That's the theme of this <laughs> series. At some point I might buy that. I've never heard of this brand, but I saw it on the Indie Makeup Spotlight and I thought, oh, interesting, another indie brand to talk about. The Sugary Cosmetics Sweethearts Collection, or it's available now. The palette retails for $29, which is a very affordable indie makeup palette price, I think. Let's see. It's a heart-shaped palette, which isn't my favorite. I don't like they're so cute but for storage purposes I tend to not buy shaped palettes other than you know, square or rectangle I don't like it I don't I don't even like the tart round palettes the disc palettes I don't have any of those anymore because I hated storing them and I just never used them so I've never tried this brand sugary cosmetics and quite frankly I've never heard of it that doesn't mean much I'm not super into all of the indie makeup. I don't know a lot of it. So have you guys tried this brand? What are your thoughts? Tell me. The palette is really cute. The colors are pretty. There's blues and pinks and there's only like three neutrals, which is exciting for me. There are two new palettes from Violet Voss. One is called Sweet Violet. One is false. I'm confused. One is $30 and one is $18. I don't know why. The Matte Vibes Eyeshadow Palette, $30, a balance of warm and cool tone hues, 10 matte shades. And looking at that, I'm like, eh, okay, whatever. But the, this promo picture, oh, oh my gosh. I mean, it doesn't hurt that this girl is stunningly beautiful and has beautiful red hair. The other one is a fun size mini eyeshadow palette in Sweet Violet. It's very purples, there's a couple pinks, that's really pretty. It's $18. These are available on Sephora. Not, you know, screaming my name, but I like it. It's fine. Okay, there is a new collection from KKW Beauty, the Celestial Sky Collection. I've never tried anything from the Kylie Cosmetics brand or the KKW Beauty brand. I know people have very strong opinions about it. I'm not really for or against it either way. I'm pretty indifferent. I'm kind of curious to try it, not because I necessarily love the Kardashians, but I'm not, but I haven't tried it because I don't care for the Kardashians. Wait, but the reason I haven't tried it isn't because I strongly dislike the Kardashians, I just think it's a little bit expensive. But I did see the KKW display in Ulta the other day, did a double take and went, There are new lip crayons with a shiny lacquer finish. 
five shades. Those are $18 each. Classic Mattes Blush Palettes, $38. Um, and it's a trio. There are two. Oh, one is a matte and one is a shimmer. Oh, that's cool. And then one, two, three eyeshadow palettes that are $25 each. There are six, no, five shades in these. To me, these are very neutral. I don't think it's anything crazy exciting. The colors look pretty, but nothing that you know I need and don't have. There's a new Valentine's Day launch from Hourglass, which is a new lipstick set. This is limited edition. It's in their confession line. Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Set includes two exclusive shades in sleek gold applicators. Decorated with a festive heart and come encased in a pink, red, and gold box for $72. <laughs> The colors look beautiful. Uh, only you and I hope we are the colors. And the colors are beautiful. Only you looks gorgeous. But uh, that's a hard pass. No. I think the I think the ultra slim like case. It's so pretty because it's very like retro looking and fancy lady. But uh, no. Bite Beauty is breaking into the complexion product line. A change maker supercharged micellar foundation that's $39.50. This is a clean long wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a natural flawless finish. It comes in 32 shades. The change maker flexible coverage powder is $36. This is a clean talc free powder made with finely milled volcanic minerals to blur, mattify, and touch up on the go. This is in eight shades. The Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer is $38. This is a clean, mattifying, hydrating primer. Oh, that's interesting. With skin optimizing technology to neutralize your skin type and grip foundation for flawless, lasting wear. The foundation doesn't interest me. I don't wear foundation. The powder doesn't interest me. The primer sounds interesting. I don't want to spend $38 on primer though. Oh, and there are two types for normal to dry and normal to oily skin. Oh, that's exciting. I'll probably be passing over all of that, but uh, you know, what are your thoughts? I know people are really excited about the Bite Beauty Foundation. People who love Bite Beauty, like they go hard for Bite Beauty, they're into it. And I don't dislike the brand, but I'm not like, you know, obsessed with it. And then I just saw this, uh, just the cover is the, a new collaboration with NYX and Netflix for the Sabrina show. It is a Sabrina Spellbook face palette, 30 eyeshadows and three and three face pressed powders, which will retail for $35. And there are three Sabrina lip duos for $14 each. There's no picture of the actual product. I've never seen the Sabrina show. Hopefully by the time this, because this, I'm filming this you know, a few days early. So if I see if they reveal the inside, I will insert a picture of that. I think that's it for this week. What are your thoughts on any of these new releases? And um, are you going to be picking any of this stuff up? I feel like last week was more drugstore and this week is a little more high end. So, so there you go. There's a little bit of both. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.